get it smoked. And you guys can't see them, but uh, there's two of them out there already. We always do this section first, and they left before we got on here. So let me see if I can check that, uh, fix the angle on this camera. Yeah. There we go. I got it fixed. But let me start over here. Uh, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. Today is an Amish coyote hunt or roundup as, or chase, whatever you want to call it. Um, I will get a little bit more into the description of what that entails here in just a second. But uh, basically, I'll, I'll try and get a total count here on the guys and drop it there. But I think we have about 80 to 100 people. And we are going to go out and see if we can shoot some coyotes. Now what we do is like this is round one. We are on a two by two section and we surround the entire thing and we walk to the center and try and shoot all the coyotes. Obviously, I mean, I saw them, you guys probably couldn't because they were like a half mile off. Two coyotes already got off of this section and that kind of stinks because typically two is a pretty good roundup. Uh, we've got as many as 13 though that, I can, that I've been on. So never know what's going to happen. Uh, shooting three inch fours. That's what you're supposed to be. Some people, you know, fudge that line a little bit and use some shells that are a little bit bigger. Should be a good time. I'll try and give you guys more information as I go along. Yo! All right, so what happens is when everyone's spaced out, every, there's four trailers. Each trailer has a leader, basically. Uh, one of the guys in charge. And what they do is when they know that everyone's spaced out right, they give the signal. They all have walkie talkies all connected, stuff like that. They give the signal, everyone goes, yells at each other all the way down the line, and we start walking to the middle. So that's the current status. Maybe we can get a coyote. Try and keep the line as straight as possible. Like everyone over here to my left, they had a whole fence across. So I stopped, wait for them to all get over, so we can keep a nice straight line. At least that's the plan anyway. Sometimes you have people that uh, put their head down and just start marching because normally the first little bit's not like, really productive, but you never know. You really never know. But when you do get to a fence, make sure you don't knock it down. The farmer put it there for a reason. Always respect the property. Because like they said in the meeting this morning, it doesn't take a whole lot to mess it up. You tear down a fence, you get cattle out a whole bunch, leave them there and stuff. Farm Pro won't let you back next year. And that's sad, because then you don't get a hunt. There he goes. Too bad he's about 80 yards out in front. Well, at least there's still one in here. That's good news. Well, the camera didn't turn on time. Oop, they're still shooting. I'm guessing he got popped over yonder. Uh, when the coyote is coming close, you want to start shooting early. Like, you don't want to let him get super, super close because the point is to keep him in the ring. So, especially early on. Sorry, they said coyotes coming back. But you want to make sure they, stays in, they stay in so they can't get away. Unless you're too close to the middle, then you let them out before you shoot. There he goes. I think that one got rolled over there. Oh, he's still moving, barely. Yeah, there he's dead. Right? Two of them ran out of my little stock straight out here. Right in front of us. Went south. One went west and the other went south. I don't know if this was one of them or what. Yep. Yeah. And he said, nah. Not too bad. Okay, round two. Uh, this section typically does pretty good. Uh, I think last year, three or four. You never know though. And we're off. Let's get this party started. Now, I will say that side's the best side because you get to walk along these trees or that side is always really good because the cows will run that tree row. Um, this is sort of just filler. You know, gotta make sure they stay in. But you never know. They're wild animals. You never know where they're gonna go. And since I'm on the slow side, I'll go ahead and take this time uh, to apologize. I spent about an hour and a half. It wasn't quite that long. That's an exaggeration. 
it was about 45 minutes this morning uh, looking for my orange couldn't find it I thought I knew exactly where it was get myself just a little extra time this morning because I was gonna finish up a couple projects that didn't happen um, but yeah typically I have an orange hat couldn't find one sorry guys uh, yeah it is what it is if I can go under them I will because I'm old over there we got people crouching down I'm guessing that there's a coyote running over there somewhere Tried to get away. Sounds like they got him there. That's good. Maybe there's another one. All right, round three. Um, I'm on a corner this time. It's a one mile square section, which means I get to walk fast because if you're on the corner, it takes longer to get to the middle. So, load up. We've never hunted this one before, so who knows what to expect, but hopefully we get. This looks nice. Hopefully it's not too deep. Oh, I got this. That's why you wear boots. Might be heavier. But man, they make a difference for creeks. Because our creeks are shallow for the most part. There's about a dozen deer jumping the fence up there. Here come the deer again. Poor things have no idea where to go. Round four, and the wind has kicked up. I'm going to wish for my mid layer back. But, oh well. Uh, this one's kind of a complicated one. There is a wheat field in the very middle of this piece that we are not allowed to hunt. So we gotta push all the way up to the edge of it, make a pretty solid line, hope that stuff doesn't just go sit and camp in the middle. So, hope you guys can hear me. Sorry, I uh, didn't realize it was that bad today. This is slightly more promising. Popped off over there. Got a couple hundred yards yet to the field. Here come deer. See him dragging that one out, about five guys down. So close. Hopefully that was dust, and I have a camera on one of the other guys' guns, another shot cam. Hopefully that was uh, one of my dudes. Well, it's just after lunch. Uh, I didn't film any of that, because I was kind of hungry and was talking to people and stuff. So, uh, lunch is done. We're now time for round five here. Uh, this is going to be some wooly stuff. There's going to be a ton of really thick stuff to go through. Hopefully it's good though. There was a shot, like, couldn't have been more than two or three people down. Sounds like he got him. One and done. Bang. We haven't even started yet. Now, in this thick stuff, it can be really hard to keep the line straight and where everyone's spaced evenly. It'll be really difficult. Oh boy. An owl. This looks like a joy. It might be some hands and knees action to get through this stuff. It's gonna have to be 10 feet away from me for me to see him. Dustin smoked him. 
windy again. Well, what is this, round six? Time to load up, see if I can get one. I'm glad Dustin got one though. Even though he seems to get at least one every year, he should share, but he wears a camera, so do I care? Man, after that last walk, this is gorgeous. The cows really seem to like the grassland too. We typically do really, really well in the grassland. Got some shots on the south side. Only a couple. Who knows what it was like over there. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's getting smoked. Oh no! He got away! That's a bum deal. One guy off, yep, there he goes. One got away. More shooting in the south. And shooting in the east. Dustin is uh, three guys over that way. That's like right where he is supposed to be. So that very well could have been him again. We'll find out though. Well, I don't know how many we got. There's one over there. Oh my. So close. So close. Later. Uh, I don't remember what round it is. Was it six, seven? Seven-ish? It's seven probably. I don't know. Uh, this is a one by two. So two miles long, one mile wide. So I have, I'm actually on the long side, walking the short distance. So see how it all goes. That last one, I think we got six is what they said. So hopefully I get to shoot this time. Well, if you guys have made it this far, uh, maybe hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. Uh, but with that being said, uh, real quick, there should be, if I can make it to them anyway, at least two more of these. Uh, in different parts of the state that I should be going to. That's the plan anyway, unless something crazy comes up. But so, you know, hopefully we get some get some good footage on those. The one, if I can make it to that one, I'm hoping so. It's the big one. Uh, I think two years ago they shot over a hundred. It was it was crazy. Uh, I did not make it to that one. I was pretty bummed about that. So uh, that that's an anomaly. Normally they shoot like seventy. But uh, anyway, hopefully hopefully we get into some more good roundups here in the near future. So that's kind of the plan on that. For you guys who are wondering, what do you do with these coyotes afterwards? Uh, fur buyer. Well, the signal has started. We are marching and we have an audience. Love that buckskin, that's awesome. Big fan of that color. Huh? Run like the wind. Just don't go through a fence. I don't want to chase horses and put up fence. See him? Okay, I have shotgun to Red Bull. Am feeling pretty good right now. Getting ready to walk another short side. Apparently they're letting the old man take a little break. Uh, I don't remember the shape of this one, but I mean, I get some grass to walk through. Uh, center's about straight that way. We'll see what happens. Why do I say that every time? Obviously, we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully, I get a shot off. I'm pretty, you know, I got a very itchy trigger finger. I really want to try it. So, let's get into it. And we're off. Shot cam's on. Gonna make this a good one. 
probably gonna be a good one anyway. Make it a better one. There's a decent buck. Yeah, go that way, bud. There's two shots. Oh. It's just a little guy. Yeah. that move. First one in a while that I haven't had mange though. Seems like. Oh well, it's the final round. And uh I'm not gonna point my fingers, but no, never mind. I'm not gonna say it. Uh, I got one of the worst spots. Someone else should have had it. Not a horrible day. <laughs> that one's a good one.